Hi people, I'm the average Scott consumer and today we're going to have a look at the recently released Humax Aura mobile phone app which has taken months to come out after it was supposed to and we're also going to look at the brand new system update for the box itself and this brings some significant changes and features but before we get started if you like this video then please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for some more personal and home and kitchen technology videos. So once you've signed into the app, the first thing you need to do is choose the box which is on your home network and then from there a registration code appears on your TV screen which you type into the app and that connects the Aura box to the app on your mobile phone. And once you're in, the TV guide appears and this is a fairly simple TV guide but it's every channel that's on your Aura box on the free view and it's really easy just to click into a show and then click watch now and it then streams from the Aura box at your home over Wi-Fi or over 4G connection to your mobile phone so you can watch live TV. This seems to work pretty well but for me I wouldn't use this personally that much I would rather download shows and then watch them without using my 4G connection or a Wi-Fi network. And it's also worth noting that as you see here, if you go into signal test on your Aura box, it actually uses your Freeview signal and then streams the shows over the internet to your mobile phone. So if we go back to the TV guide, it actually has a 7 day TV guide. You can go forward over the days and if you find shows you like, you can set them to record in full series link record as well or set reminders and that sends the message to your Aura box to record them for you so you don't need to be at home to set recordings. You also have the on now section and this basically just shows you what is on at that minute on each channel so it gives a little bit more detail and it gives a picture as well usually of what's on and it gives an option to send the show to your Aura box so it's almost like using your Aura app as the remote control. The next section is schedule, now this is pretty basic. It only shows you what you have set to record and it doesn't give you any options to cancel the recordings. So it's basically just to view what you have set to record in the future. The next two and recordings and downloads are pretty much the main features of this app. If you go into recordings, you can click into any recording on your Aura box and from here you can actually convert the recording into mobile format so this will start the conversion on your Aura box so that it's then ready to be downloaded to your mobile phone. So now that we've set the show to convert from the mobile phone app, if you go into the recordings on the Aura box, you can see here that there's a progress bar and this shows you that the show is being converted to mobile format before you can then download it. You can also convert the shows directly from this menu as well by pressing the blue button. This is a recording which has already been converted on the Aura box, so if we click this little symbol on the right, it then starts to download onto the mobile phone. And if you go into the download section, it then shows the download which is in progress, and it gives you the option to cancel the download, but what you can also do is actually stream the recording before it's actually been downloaded. So this will use your data if you're not on Wi-Fi. But it's a really nice feature where you don't need to convert and then download all your recordings to your mobile phone. So not long after Christmas, the Humax Aura received a big software update which fixed some bugs but also added some really nice features, two of which I think are quite important. One is the automatic refresh rate control and the other is the added home cinema system options. With the automatic refresh rate control option, this is basically to give you more options when it comes to your screen resolution and also the refresh rate or the frame rate. So in your audio and video settings you have HDMI resolution and there's a lot of options here. 4K 60Hz obviously being the best but if you set this at auto it then allows you to click into this dynamic refresh rate setting. This is designed to match the refresh rate on your TV to the refresh rate coming from the Aura box. 
but I found that it could be quite problematic and it was changing my TV settings even when I was changing channel on the normal free view and it was still doing this even when I put the refresh rate switching to low or used my own settings in custom. So what I've done now is just set the main HDMI resolution and refresh rate to 4K 60Hz and this overrides everything and this means it's always set at the best possible picture quality unless I change the settings and that is where the next new feature comes in. So this is direct access to audio and visual settings and this is a really good feature where as you're watching TV or any of the streaming apps you can get direct access to the video and audio settings while you're watching. So as an example, let's say you're watching TV and you want to go into Amazon Prime and watch a movie. So we'll click into Blade Runner 2049 and films are traditionally shot and shown in 24 frames per second. But as we're watching, if we press the S slash AD button on the remote control, it shows you the audio visual options. And here we can see that the video source is 3840 by 1600 at 24 frames, but the display is 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames or 60 hertz. But you have the option here to change the video resolution and frame rate settings here. So if we press number 3, it then sends a 4K 24 frames per second signal to the TV. And you can now see that the display frame rate matches the video source. This update has brought features which probably should have been there from the beginning. But it is good to know that they're working on it and we will get updates in the future. Another new feature is the audio settings for your home cinema system. This is important for me because I have the AuraBox connected to Adobe Atmos soundbar. As explained here, if you have MS-12 transcoding switched on, any audio signal that comes from your Freeview channels or any of the streaming apps will be converted to 5.1 and then sent on from there, but this should only be used if you're using your normal TV speakers for your sound. If you're using a sound system, then MS-12 transcoding should be switched off and this means that the full audio signal up to 7.1 channels can be sent from the Aura Box to your sound system and this could include the likes of Dolby Atmos. I've mentioned in previous videos that Disney Plus doesn't seem to support Dolby Atmos even though it supports it on the likes of an Xbox and this still seems to be the case. However, in the settings here, if you select the audio formats to auto, the Aura Box recognises that my system is Atmos enabled and this is proven by the BT Sport app which broadcasts football in Atmos and my soundbar confirms that with a little blue light to say that it's receiving an Atmos signal. So I hope you've enjoyed this update on the new box features and the Humax Aura app. I'm the Average Scott Consumer, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.